guys, so today I thought I'd do a nice simple video. I am going to import a 3D file into my game. So I have my purge map here and you could build stuff in Roblox, right? A lot of cool stuff. But maybe you're really good at like Blender or Tinkercad and you want to import an OBJ file. Let's go to our web browser, Google, and I'm going to do Tinkercad. So we'll open this up, we'll go to Tinkercad and it's free. You can get an account. I'm already logged in probably. Hit log in. I just logged in with my Gmail account. It lets you do that. And you could do create your first 3D design or if you already have a bunch, just go over here, create 3D design. This is really cool. They teach this in school too where you have the 3D printers and you can print stuff out. It's pretty sophisticated. What should we do? So we get uh, we get some weird random name here you can click on it and change it if you want but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it like that let's go over to our basic shapes right because it's not a tinkercad video it's an import video so ooh, uh vehicles and machinery though you do have to be careful they have a lot of polygons right so uh, just be careful with that we'll go structures and scenery how about structures and scenery and what's what's this guy bed you know what i want i want to do structures i want a shipping container yeah there we go that's pretty good now you can do stuff in here modify it in a lot of different ways way more than you can in roblox but we're just going to shrink it down in roblox i'll just export it like this let's hit export there we go. And we want OBJ file. Sweet. Wait for it. There it goes. I don't even know how to say that. Let's hit open file. It's a zip, right? So open file. Oops, opened out over here. Drag it on over. And we got to extract it because it's a zip. So extract all. And I'll just extract it in the downloads. Nice. All right, that's what we want. The tinker.obj. We'll change the name in Roblox. So let's go back to our Roblox game. We want to go to our purge map. And I'm going to hit my import 3D. Cool. I'm going to go to this file right here, this folder right here. I'm going to open that up. And we got our tinker.obj. Hit OK. It'll take a second. You can also do this through the Asset Manager, too. I'm just going to hit everything as default. I'll just go Import. Sweet. Successfully imported. All right. Now, that looks pretty big. That's as big as my building. Let's shrink it down. Let's go to Scale. And I'm going to click on that green thing. Oh, if we... If we shift, it's scale uniformly. So I'm gonna hit the shift. Maybe I'll make this like 25 studs. How about that? Let's see what that looks like. That's about 25 studs. Oh, it looks like it's on its side too. Let's go ahead and rotate it. Rotate. That'll work. Let's hit move. Let's drag it into our building, right? Buildings should have shipping containers. Oh, I have collisions on. Turn collisions off. And now we'll, we'll just pull it in here. Joink. Maybe bring it down a little. Hit F. That'll zoom you in a little bit. Yeah, let's put it right in between our beams. It's hard to, it's hard to do stuff inside a building in Roblox. Cool. Let's hit collisions again. I'll bump that to the ground. That'll work. All right, let's take a look at our, our tinker object. It's right here. Let's go ahead and click on it. We'll call this shipping container. Shipping container. We may even want to move this into the environment, right? I have an environment folder here. Yeah, let's do that. Environment. There we go. Shipping container. Let's color it. Let's open it up. Oh, and we have two groups. What's that? Oh, that looks like the hardware. 
Let's go ahead and change the, let's change the uh, color on the hardware. These are my properties. I don't know. Maybe like, uh, like a light green or something. And let's go to other group. What's that? Make it like a, uh, let's make a darker green. Camo green. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna turn the shadows off too. Save some resources. Oh man, I got I got lost. There we go. Save some resources for our game. If it was a spooky game and you had shadows, that'd be cool. But this is a this is a first person shooter. So with our group selected, CAS cast shadow. I'm gonna click that off, and uh, the hardware is still showing up. So we'll do that. Click that off. Cool. There we go. So we got an object into our game. We're ready to play. We got a shipping container. And you could modify these, of course, in Tinkercad, bring it all, bring it in. Gives you a lot more options in your game. All right, I'll see you in the next video. We'll keep working on our game. I know that this was pretty easy, but I thought it was important to do. Import 3D file.